Well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're taking a look at my very first 3D printer, and this is the Flash Forge Adventure 5M. So I've actually been using this for a little while now, maybe about a week or so, and honestly, I'm having a ton of fun with it. More fun than I ever thought I actually would have with the 3D printer. Now, just to be clear, this isn't any kind of sponsored video. This is simply my experience uh, as someone brand new to 3D printing. I haven't tried any other printer at this point in time. So this is all coming from a true uh, beginner's perspective from someone that just thought, hey, now may be a good time to invest in 3D printers with the fact that they're fairly inexpensive. So um, with this printer, right out of the box, the setup was actually really easy. Flashforge claims that you can actually have this ready in about 10 minutes. And I'd have to say that's actually pretty accurate. It took me probably around 15 minutes from start to finish. A few things in regards to the printer, right? No manual leveling uh, needed. It auto levels itself, which is awesome for someone, again, new to this. Uh, I think most new printers do that now. I loaded up the PLA test filament and ran the test print that comes uh, inside the actual printers. I believe it's its, it's internal me memory. And it worked perfectly. I, I have it somewhere. I don't know where. It's one of those little boats. Whatever. Um, that's really what I wanted from a beginner printer. I wanted something that was easy to set up. No frustration. I didn't want to have to tinker around. I didn't want to have to figure out how to install anything. None of that. So what I really liked. First off, you know, the thing is fast. It is. I think it's fast. And it's actually pretty quiet. And... You know, and that's in regards to a 3D printer. So it does come with its own frame, which I like. So that allows it to stay a little bit more stable. But if you do have it sitting on a desk like I do have here, you want to make sure it's nice and steady because if the surface starts to wobble, you may see some warping right during the print. So make sure you have it on a nice stable desk, which, which I've learned. That said, I actually have one of their do-it-yourself enclosures coming. So mainly I'm going to hopefully use that to keep the sound levels down and again to help to protect the printer from any kind of dust and elements and just keep the cleaning area nicer. Print quality though, I'd have to say it's solid. As far as I know from, from something in this price range, again, I'm very pleased. I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, the touch interface on the screen itself is great. It's super simple, beginner friendly. Uh, I could find everything. Though I do wish it was a little bit more responsive. You know, sometimes you have to really kind of push on it. But it works fine. Uh, could it be snappier? Sure. Is it a budget printer? Yeah. Uh, again, the auto bed leveling feature is a huge win. So there's no fiddling with screws. Uh, no kind of guessing. It just works. I put it through a leveling every once in a while. And I really like that the removable flex plate comes with it so once your prints are done you just kind of bend it slightly and the parts pop right off and honestly once the bed cools down most parts pop off all by itself and for around the 300 dollars us price point it honestly feels like a pretty good steal pretty good printer for everything that i can do right out of the box so again i've i've been i've been very happy with it but is there things that it could do better possibly so um, let's talk about what I don't necessarily love. First, this printer supposedly doesn't handle ABS filament unless you buy or build an enclosure. So for now, I'm sticking to a PLA and a PETG, which uh, have both worked great for me. Second, uh, it's a single color extruder printer. So one color at a time. And I'll be honest, I'm already looking at uh, a four color printer. So I think I may actually order one of those right away. Um, so that's definitely something that I want to try soon because I do like the fact that I could just switch colors during a print. Now I did talk about earlier in the video that the printer is pretty basic. Because of this, it doesn't come with a built-in camera. But I bought one uh, and installed it in the flash forge printer so i actually bought the flash forge official camera myself uh and it's been it's been good 
for keeping an eye on long prints without having to, to be in the same room. Plus, you get the ability to kind of give yourself a little time lapse of the print happening. So if that's something, it's not an overly expensive add-on. So my experience, you know, even with these small downsides, I'd say this has been just a super fun printer to use. You know, I've only printed uh, files that you can download off the internet so far. So things like models, gadgets, small decorations, wall mounts, things like that. But over the winter, I really want to learn some of the CAD programs like Blender so I can start creating my own little designs from scratch especially since we hope to organize this room and do something in the garage so my thought would be that there would be something really satisfying about watching something you designed turn into a real object like literally right in front of you i just think that would be really cool i could literally sit and watch these print for hours anyways you know why do i think this is a great time to get one well you know if you've been thinking about getting into 3d printing which I had been for a while, now is just a really great time. Prices for 3D printers are nice and low. Features are better than ever. And printers like this one make it actually really easy to get started into 3D printing. The fact that this printer has auto leveling, quick setup, uh, so far the performance has been really reliable. I've only messed up a couple prints. Um, and these used to be what were considered premium features, but now they're showing up on e entry level machines like the Flash Forge Adventure 5M printer, which is, you know, it's your Amazon printer. So if you've ever wanted to, you know, get into 3D printing, I do think now is uh, a great time to do it. Now, you know, you can wait another year and it'll probably be even better time, but now's a good time. So, um, to wrap things up, to sum things up, the Flash Forge Adventure 5M has been an awesome first printer. You know, it's easy to use, super beginner friendly, and a ton of fun to actually experiment with. Does it have its limits? Yeah, for sure. Uh, but for the price and for someone that was just getting started and really was just curious about if that was something that he wanted to invest in, I think it's pretty amazing what this thing can do right out of the box, you know? So, you know, some of us buy something and never use it. I have not stopped using this for the past week to two weeks. Uh, like, I've got so many things <laughs> printed right now, you know? I've got... It, it, little mounts for all my camera, the camera stands. I, I've I've got little little signs that I'm gonna put up in the garage for like Indian. Yeah, uh, I've I've printed, I've printed. This is oops. I've actually printed a figurine of me. This is me. That's actually me. I use like I don't know AI stuff to print things of me. I've got what else do I got? I got like more more Indian stuff. I've got oh here you go. Cause I, cause well, I can, it's a, it's a, it's a coaster. I got coasters for my coffee, which is cool. Uh, again, caps for my cameras, right? There's little, little lens caps I've printed for my cameras. So all my cameras now have lens caps on them, uh, which is cool. Uh, and currently right now, oh yeah, I printed this, look at this, right? This is an under desk, under desk, like, uh, drawer so i'm going to put it here and it, you print it in like three pieces but it it, it it you you would screw this onto the to the desk itself and then this right look look at that what yeah things that are usual things that are useful i printed this is a little scraper so you can scrape the extra filament off your off your tray thing here um because I'm looking at other printers. These are like spool, little spool things you put on your spool of filament so that they run smoother. So I printed a whole bunch of those to put on the different things of spool. Uh, did I show you this? It's a little, little looks like a little toolbox, you know? Look at that, you even came with a little handle. Indian, look, and you can print this in different sizes. What? <laughs> yeah, I've been going crazy. Now you do have to realize that every one of these prints, they can take 40 minutes, they can take eight hours. So a lot of times I'm printing stuff. And this one here, like this is a wall organizer. 
So you print them in different sizes and they have these little, you print the little clamps. So you put them on the walls and then you, you would clamp them down. Yes, to tie them all together, bolt them in. And, and all these are just free online. You just go online and get them. Do it. It's right here. It's, it's, I, I just stopped, I paused it because I, I didn't want the sound in the background. But it's printing more of these right now. So I'm loving it. I, I, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, if you guys are interested in this printer, the 5M, um, I think it's a fantastic, again, way to start in the 3D printing. I've already bought like $200 worth of filament because I'm just, I'm printing like there's no tomorrow is what I'm doing. Anyways, I will leave links down below um, if you guys are interested in one. And uh, that's it. I, I, I'm, again, I'm having so much fun. All right, guys, links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Later.